I made it to the world border of 2B2T. I can't wait for my friend to finally get on so we could play together and build our base. I finally was able to join 2B2T. Now I just need to meet up with my friend. Oh no, I didn't think about how you'll get all the way out to me. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? I know, we'll ask Baron Dome for help. Hello guys, what can I help you with? Baron Dome, can you help my friend travel all the way from spawn to the world border as easily as possible? Sure. Well, let's think about all the possible ways to get from spawn to the world border. That's 30 million blocks away. Obviously, walking overworld would take way too long. Just at walking speed, it would take him at least 80 days of walking non-stop. And I don't think anyone would stay up that long with no sleep. Let's consider the nether. Since one block nether is 8 overworld, it would take 1 eighth the amount of time. So 10 days walking non-stop in the nether. It's a lot less time, but no one has that kind of free time. Now, if you had an elytra and attempted to fly overworld, you would go much faster, around four days of non-stop flying, but you would have to stop every now and then and mend the elytra, and might possibly even need rockets. It's doable, but still a lot of work. You know what we could do? What's that? The name change pearl teleport. Name change pearl teleport? What's that? Well, it's a way to teleport someone anywhere instantly. How do you do it? Well, all you need is an ender pearl. Wait, what was that extra requirement? B -b 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 Don't worry about that now. Let me explain. First, let's talk about the ender pearl. For those of you that don't know, the ender pearl, or e pearl as it's known, is an item that you can get from killing an enderman or buying from a villager. Ender pearls are an item that you throw. Wherever the ender pearl lands, the player who threw it teleports to that location. Now, something to remember. Ender pearls, once thrown, will only teleport the player if it hits a solid object. There's actually several ways that you can prevent your thrown ender pearl from hitting a solid block, as a way to save for later the teleport. You could throw into water, and that would actually slow down the ender pearl, as a way of delaying the teleport for once it hits the bottom of the ocean. Something else you could do is throw your ender pearl into unloaded chunks on your Minecraft world. Now, loaded chunks are areas of the game that you can see. And you can tell what's an unloaded chunk. It's the dark areas around your world that you don't see anything rendered in. Now, why would you throw your ender pearl into an unloaded chunk? Well, if you threw it into an unloaded chunk, the ender pearl basically gets frozen in place and will remain that way until the chunk gets loaded. Now, on 2B2T, players take this to extreme. Players will set ender pearl locations where they can throw ender pearls into unloaded chunks. We call this setting a pearl. If the player ever wants to come back to that location quickly, they can have one of their friends load the unloaded ender pearl chunk, and that would cause the ender pearl to finally land and the player would be instantly teleported, provided they are in the same dimension. Now, the only problem with this, like I said, is that you would need a second account there to load the unloaded ender pearl, which would cause the first account to get teleported. That's great and all, but my friend is at spawn and he hasn't thrown a pearl here, so how would that help him? That's a good question. To answer that, you have to understand how ender pearls work. In recent versions of Minecraft, 1.13 and above, the ender pearl is linked to the player's UUID, or its Universal Unique Identifier. The UUID is a way to identify your account even if your name changes. Now, 2B2T is on Minecraft version 1.12.2 which handles ender pearls differently. In 1.12.2 and below, ender pearls are actually linked to player names. So say you threw an ender pearl, and before it touches the ground, your friend changes his name to yours, he would be teleported, not you. Shut the front door. Explain the whole process. So here's what you do. Throw an ender pearl into an unloaded chunk. Then you go into your Minecraft account and change your name, really to anything, it doesn't matter. Now here's the bad part. The second player will have to wait 30 days before they can rename their account to yours. Minecraft holds player names for 30 days before anybody else can claim them. So once the 30 days have passed and the second player has changed their name to the first player, both players must be online and in the same dimension. The first loads the end of Pearl and the second gets teleported. If all goes well, the second player will be teleported right to where the first player threw the ender pearl, and it doesn't matter the distance. That's cool and all, but then I won't have my player name anymore. True, 
you would have to wait another 60 days if you want to change your name back to its original name. But that's the price you have to pay if you want to do this name change teleport. I'm up for it. I guess I'll have to go set my pearl now. I guess I'll hang around spawn for 30 days. Good luck with that guys. And I hope everybody that's watching enjoyed this video. And if you have further questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll see you all later. Bye.